This is Black Swan. This is with Natalie Portman. I've always wanted to watch this movie, but my mom wouldn't let me watch it because apparently it's like inappropriate or something. They're ballet dancers. There's a white swan and a black swan. And Natalie Portman is the gray swan. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, she's both? I'm Maddie Ziegler, and today I'm going to be testing my dance movie knowledge. Step up. She is classically trained. He's a break dancer, hip hopper. So he's about to do jail time, but then he ends up doing community service at the dance studio. She tries to teach him how to do like ballet-ish. There is some dance battle. Ding, ding, ding. Thank you. Stomp the yard. I'm guessing it's about dancers who step dance on a yard. I'm gonna guess Atlanta. I knew it! Step dancing is very popular in Atlanta. I have never step danced before, so I'm gonna go to Atlanta with the cast members from this movie, and we're going to stomp in a yard. <laughs> Greece. This is John Travolta, and... What's her name? What's her name? What's her name? I know her name. Olivia Newton-John! He's basically in like a, a motorcycle group, like a bad guy. He's like one of the bad guys. She's part of the girls with the pink skirts, the pink ladies. She puts on the leather outfit and they dance together. <laughs> they fall in love and that's that. Save the last dance. Okay, well this is clearly about a couple, as I can see from the poster. I've never heard of this movie, but I'm guessing they meet one night. That's very romantic. <laughs> and she wants him to save the last dance for her. A whole thing happened where they were planning on dancing together and then he ends up dancing with like another girl and there's like this whole scene where, <laughs> I don't know, I'm just making this up. Uh, like every movie there has to be like a fight in a breakup and then ends up getting back together and he comes back at the very end and saves the last dance for her. Billy Elliot. I almost did this Broadway show. So Billy is 11. All he wants to do is be a dancer. So his dad wants him to like box. Something happens where he ends up dancing, but this is Happy Feet. This movie scared me when I was little. I can't remember this movie, even though I watched it every Friday with my babysitter. It's about penguins and they tap dance. Just one of them is a tap dancer. The rest of them support his decision. This movie scared me because there was like a really scary scene with like a sea lion or some sort of seal. Is that the wrong movie? Ballet shoes? Is that Emma Roberts? Or Emma Watson? There's too many Emmas, I get confused. I'm guessing it's about ballet dancers because it's focused on ballet shoes. She lost her ballet shoes and the movie is about a search of them trying to find the ballet shoes and they end up finding them in the end and she puts them on and dances. Dirty dancing. I knew, I knew you were gonna put this in. Patrick Swayze is in this movie. I forget who the girl is, but she's really good. They fall in love. <laughs> Wait. Are they both dancers? Or is one not a dancer and learns how to dance? I feel like everyone falls in love in every movie. I know that obviously there's an iconic dance scene. They do the huge lift at the end. And I feel like Patrick Swayze's character didn't dance before. No? I'm sorry, I'm born in 2002. Center stage. I've watched it before. Obviously it's all about dancers. They're all at like a dance school, like in a company. Do they date each other? Is this the mo oh, I know this movie. At the end, they do a scene where he has a motorcycle and then she's in red and she's doing a point number. They fall in love and they become dance partners. Is that it? Was that right? There was a lot of dance movies that I actually didn't know and I felt very uneducated. I think it's really important that a dancer should study and like learn from all these cool movies. And so I really need to watch them and maybe I can watch Black Swan now. Thank you so much, Teen Vogue. I'm gonna go home and watch these movies now.